Right, so, there's the MOT station. There's all the traps in there. There's our new MOT. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, hope you Still moaning. Right, let me get out of the way. So, that's brilliant, isn't it? We have an MOT. Right. Right, so, it's getting a bit dark out there. So we've got an MOT, a new MOT! And uh, the little blast down the motorway managed to get it for its low emissions. Because the poor van has been sitting there doing nothing since, uh, well, March. And he drove it 40 miles, 20 miles in and 20 miles back. Um, and that was 20 miles there in March and 20 miles back in May, June. So other than that, it's just sat on the forecourt doing absolutely nothing. So it's, uh, it needed that blast down the motorway. So uh, anyway, uh, this is where I was brought up around in this area. It used to be Britain's Toys here, Britain's Toys. I used to paint those um, little soldiers and the cows and yeah, it's all houses and over the back there, behind all that lot, there's the reservoirs. They're all new, all new houses. And uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is just a massive, great big council estate, really, in 19, 1940s. Uh, no, 1930s and, and 1940s. Uh, typical council houses. Yeah. And this is a. Uh, I wasn't brought up here, I was brought up further down the road, but the houses were similar to this. And uh, just come and play up here because over the back there, if you go down that road there, you've got all of the um, reservoirs and everything. And that's where I used to play when I was a kid. We used to have our horses there because you could keep your horse there for nothing on the reservoir grass. And we used to just ride down this road here. Just uh, no saddles. Most of the time, not even got a bridle, couldn't afford it. It was a made up altar out of a lump of rope. Yeah. And uh, I've been to a lot of places, I've travelled quite a lot. Lived in loads of different places for long periods of time. But I've always had a base. I've always had a base here in Wolfhamstow. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've always had a base here in Wolfhamstow. Lived in different parts of Wolfhamstow, but basically Wolfhamstow. And of course, all the shops all closed. Everything's oh, everything COVID closed down. And uh, for my friend, code. One 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 eleven eleven code. I'm gonna take him for a little ride to where both he, when he was a kid, and I, when I was a kid. It's a bit of a a few years difference in time, though. To where we both spent a period of time in our childhood, growing up. And this is a uh, Millfield Avenue, so. Code would recognise this. This is Millfield. So we used to play football when we was kids. I used to bring the horse here and ride the horse around and let all my mates have a go. And uh, this is the sort of house that I was brought up in. 
in fact the road we're coming up to now which is called Guildway there you go Guildway you see Guildway and it's that road that I was brought up in <laughs> I keep I keep bibbing it because I'm leaning on the steering wheel I'm leaning on the steering wheel and the, and the bib is right there and I keep bibbing it by accident <laughs> yeah So this is Millfield Avenue. So code you'll know this one, won't you? Millfield Avenue. And we're coming up to the famous or infamous <laughs> Priory Court. Priory Court. And uh, so I used to live in Guildway. And then when my sister got married, she got a flat here in uh, Priory Court. And uh, I came to live with her and I help her out. And I used to babysit. Oh, sorry, a bit of steering going on there. No power steering in this, is there? And I used to babysit because she used to work as a bus conductor. And that was years ago when you used to have someone on the bus that took your tickets. And she worked as a bus conductor. And there's the old library. And, uh, and this is Priory Court. And Priory Court, a lot of it um, has been knocked down. And you've got all these new flats and everything. Because there used to be, and they're doing a lot of refurbishment again, there used to be loads of blocks like that on this side. And the shops are up here. They're doing refurbishments on it again. This is Priory Court. And uh, this is the new side. All of this used to be um, flats, big blocks of flats, the same as the ones that I've just shown you. And um, and now they've knocked all them down. This is where the shops used to be. They've knocked all them down and built modern flats. But there's still quite a lot of the old flats that are surviving. So you've got old and new living together here. Because on the side that I've just shown you where all the houses are, the modern flats, well, it used to be packed in like what's over there so and the irony of it is I didn't know about code on the internet I found him by accident it was like God working in strange ways and we got chatting and all that and he says uh, oh yeah I live in London E17 he says oh I live in uh, I used to live in E17 I said, oh yeah whereabouts Priory Court I said oh my I used to live in Priory Court, A Block, oh yeah, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, you know the group Iron Maiden, see that over there, that is where Steve um, Harrison, or Harris, used to live, and uh, this is A Block, Priory Court, so we, I used to live at, I said to him, I lived at number 11 A Block Priory Court, so he went, don't lie, I said, I'm not lying, so he said, um, oh, I live. All right, okay. I live there as well. well. I better put this down because the policeman's out. I live there as well. Oh, shit, I've just got the hill. He said, "Yeah, I live there as well." I said, "No, I don't lie." He said, "Yeah." He said, "I used to live in Forest Road, and then I moved there. My mum swapped with someone." I said, no, "I don't believe that." So that was my sister that she swapped with. <laughs> God almighty, you're so and so and so and so. He went, who are you? So I said, I'm Beth's auntie back there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in that small world. I remember him when he was a little kid, and he and his brother. And those really lovely looking little kids. Well, they're lovely looking now, but that was really cute kids. Yeah. So there you go, Priory Court, Forest Road. And uh, the fire station. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. I better go. So I love you lots. Love yourselves more. I've got an MOT now, so expect me to be turning up on your doorstep code. And uh, give it a couple of weeks and I'll have the inside of the van sorted out. Well, I'll do it while we're on this lockdown. And I'll have the inside of the van sorted out and uh, put a little log burner in, which is what I want to do. 
and we can go and have a cup of tea. We don't even have to go anywhere to have a cup of tea. Come outside and I'll make you a cup of tea in my van. So anyway, to everyone, um, I'm hoping that um, my friend Rose is about as well. And uh, yeah, I've been thinking about you, Rose, and a bit worried about you, actually. Hope you're not on your own. I feel devastated for you. Can't stop thinking about it. So, love you lots. Loads of big hugs. And uh, Tom, I hope you're okay. And uh, dirty internet, dirty tube. And oh look, that's my friend's old shop. That's now loads of posh apartments. That's my friend's old shop. Right, so Mia Mia and everyone actually. Yeah. Lots of love. Love you lots. Love yourselves more. Bye bye.